What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Legend of Mushroom video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you all the codes. That's right guys, all the codes to date that allow you to get some free gifts inside Legend of Mushroom. Whether you've been playing for a while or maybe you've only just started playing, take note because these codes are going to give you access to free diamonds and lots of free summons and possibly some other goodies as well. Now you may have already redeemed some codes but make sure you check through this list because there may be some codes that you haven't redeemed and of course free gifts are always very nice. So today we're going to be listing all the codes to date that are currently available. Now before I put these codes up on the screen, let me just give you a very quick update as to how my experience is going with Legend of Mushroom because I haven't done a video for a few days on my progress. And as you can see, it's going rather well. I'm coming towards the end of the void. It's been extremely difficult getting through these last couple of void stages. I'm still running as a mage. Quite controversial because if you speak to people inside the game, on the Discord, everywhere else, a lot of people will tell you that the best thing to do is to start off possibly as a mage and then switch over to a crossbow towards level 100. That seems to be kind of the meta that a lot of people are doing. I love going against metas because I just love pain. So I decided to stick with my mage. I'm going all in on a dark mage. Right now you can see me struggling on this snake here, but uh, to be honest with you, I feel like the mage is gonna come in to its own really, really soon. Um, I'm pushing stun and skill crit on my character and yeah it's getting it's getting stronger like i do still feel sometimes i get outgunned by the crossbows especially in pvp but i think it's a case of just being patient you know maybe i'll be proven wrong who knows but i'm really really enjoying playing as a mage and i'm going to continue pushing with that for the time being something else that i also want to mention is i managed to get a couple of new pink skills and pals if we check this out very quickly you can see here i got my first pink immortal pal which is awesome it's one of the ones i really wanted it's the treasure dragon and i wanted this of course because it gives me extra skill crit which is pretty much my build so very very happy to get the treasure dragon it's definitely made me hit um bigger crits more often which is really really good if i show you my skill crit stat you can see now my skill crit is up at 53.7 which is closing in on that 70 percent that i was kind of aiming for i still have gear pieces that i need to try and roll with more skill crit on them so only a matter of time before we get that up to 70 percent which is what i'm looking for um, and then if we look at my skills, I have actually switched one out recently. Uh, this only happened yesterday. I managed to get another immortal skill, which is the blade pierce. And this thing is actually rather nice. Uh, you can see not only does it do rather good damage, but it also drains like a life leech against the actual target as well, which is pretty sweet. And what also makes that really good is the fact that this relic that I was using, that I was using with Wind Gust, which gives me a HP boost every time the skill triggers, actually is going to work with Blade Pierce as well. So I can continue to use this relic. Another huge update I got the, the other day was when I opened up a new relic called Time Statue, which is going to be massive for me because it's going to increase the duration effect of my disarm by 50%. And if you don't know what disarm is, it's a huge skill, which I would definitely recommend using this one right here. And this is going to basically stun enemies or basically for like three seconds. But add another 50% onto that, it's a four and a half second stun now. Huge, especially in PvP. So that's really gonna help me out a lot. So some pretty nice updates on my account recently. We're closing in on 16 million power, which is really, really nice. Um, the other last little update I'll give you with regards to the server versus server arena. I've been trying my best to push up here. There's a lot of really strong players in this thing, so I've not been able to beat everybody. I'm currently chilling here in 22nd position, but it's okay. I'm in platinum free ranking at the moment. As far as my credits go, I'm built up to 1460 so far. And I do generally think you're going to get about 2,000 a week if you're kind of at my kind of level. Maybe a little bit less if you're a bit lower, but you'll get there eventually. Don't buy everything in this store that's really cheap. Save your credits, ladies and gentlemen, so you can come down here and pick up your weekly Awakening Crystal. These you absolutely need. And I haven't really made a separate video about this yet, but just briefly, the reason why you need those, it's all because of your class Awakening. You need these stones 
to open up all six of these. I predict it will take about six weeks at the rate I'm going to get this done. But once you get these skills in, that's more stats and you can activate your awakening, which is going to turn you into your final form and give you your super powerful skill. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely good to save those credits and focus on that before you purchase anything else in there. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of as far as I've got, as, as far as the update goes. Oh, one other thing, actually, the Easter event that's up right now, the Easter egg hunt. I unfortunately didn't get anything from the red rewards. I was really, really hoping that I would drop possibly an awakening stone or maybe the, the car or the ghillie suit. I was hoping I'd get it. I did also get the battle pass as well, which was the uh, not there. Where is it? Where's the battle? But this is the battle pass. It was 10 bucks. We got this because we used the event the other day, which doubled your money kind of thing. It was kind of crazy. Uh, we did that. So we had some extra cash. So we went ahead and we bought the battle pass. I have completed the battle pass. And just so you know, the extra rewards you get down here, you don't get no more eggs out of this. When you complete the extra rewards, it's just pal summons, skill summons and diamonds. There's no more eggs. So the only way I'm left now to get eggs, unfortunately, is to go into the store and purchase them, uh, which I've decided I'm not going to go and do because I'm just, you know, I'm taking it easy. Um, I am buying stuff, but I'm not buying things across everywhere. So I'm going to miss out, unfortunately, on some really cool red items. But maybe we get lucky on the next RNG event. However, if you are buying eggs or if you are purchasing anything in the game, make sure you do it with Aptoid because that way when you are making purchases, you're going to get cash back. I've got links in the description below for Aptoid. You can download your app wallet and the Aptoid store itself. Download Legend of Mushroom through there and buy your packs through Aptoid. That way you're going to get some cash back every time you make a purchase. And not only that, I've got my promotion link down there as well, which is Worthy Mush, all capital letters, one word. If you use that on your rewards section under promotion codes inside your app wallet, you're also going to get an extra 5% back on everything you purchase. And the great thing about Aptoid is if you're new to it, it starts off at 5% cashback, but it goes all the way up to 20% cashback the more you use it. So if you are buying packs in Legendary Mushroom, use Aptoid to get your money going further. And again, all the links and promotion code are all down in the description below. Okay, now that's all said and done, guys. Let's get to some free stuff, which I know you guys are here for. Let's check out these promotion codes. I'm going to switch the screen over now and I'm going to bring up on the screen every single promotion code that you need to try out in Legend of Mushrooms. Try and get some free power summons and diamonds. Are you ready? Take a screenshot if you need it. Okay, guys, there's all your promotion codes. Hopefully you guys had some there which you have never claimed before. And if you did get some free stuff, that's absolutely awesome. If you're just starting the game up and playing for the first time, that should be a bunch of diamonds and summon tickets to give you a real good head start in the game. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the update on my account and I hope you get enjoyed the freebies. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button and share the video so other people get to get some free stuff as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Remember, if you're buying packs in Legend of Mushroom, the links are down below for Aptoid as well as my promotion code. And that's all I got for you today. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.